Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivione. Um, last time we just, like, I kind of went You're on the wrong path, still. honestly. Oof. Wait, That's what's happening? You can do. You elves are ah. the same. I don't know why I was getting attacked there. I wasn't supposed to be. I thought I loaded my save. Ah, well. Game's buggy. What can I say? Okay. Am I... Oh, I'm just out. Okay, so that means that I can go this way, right? How can I help you? Is there something I... Good day to you. I love how rumors is an option for everyone. A little silly, but you know. Okay, that looks like an entrance. Yeah, Westgate. Cool. Oh, I just realized that I left my horse upstairs. That's all right. That's fine. That doesn't matter that much. Okay. So, in one of my favorite things is that. Do I not have like a regular heal spell? Oh, here we go. So, something that I like in a lot of, um, in, in like a. Oh, that does actually heal me as well. Something I like in um, Skyrim is that you can get a perk that lets your... lets your stamina come back when you heal yourself as well. And it doesn't look like that's the case, but... Let it be known that I wish that it was. Damn. Oh, let's poison my sword. Still? Oh, I've got two of these. Damn. Um, oh, I know what I can do. I can use my repairing hammers on these and start buffing them up. Cool. Cool. I will, I guess I'll need to figure out how, um, hell yeah, how to repair this thing. Um, I've talked about this before, but I like the, uh, the vibe of, so. Oh. <laughs> That's goofy as fuck, my guy. I like the vibe of, um... Oh, does this kill me as well? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, and then I can just start healing myself. I don't know if that gives me more juice when it comes to, um... Oh, I can jump this. I don't know if it gives me more juice to my resto if I'm, if I've got, um... Lake Arius Caverns. That's the place. Okay. Your horse is stabled outside the city gate. Oh, how fun. Convenient, thank you. Yeah, um, I I don't know if I, I get more juice for yes. what seems to be healing myself with less health. Um But I do like power leveling. I love that I can like the way that you can practice stuff in, in Elder Scrolls.
Wait, no, I don't need to break in here. I just need to wait till morning. Um, in Elder Scrolls, there's the whole thing of like you you do this thing um in battle and it gives you XP, you know? So like you you uh you know, you use your your spells in battle and you get more spell XP. And the fact that your skills are leveling up individually on their own as opposed to your like getting a generic experience point. Oh, did I steal that onion? Ruh -roh. But yeah, doing that instead of getting, you know, like a generic experience point is something that's like special and kind of cool about Elder Scrolls. You know? Yes. Now, no one will ever know. No one will ever know. <laughs> what is it? Christmas? Oh, it's only seven in the morning. Did it skip me back? I thought it was already eight. Weird. Uh, anyway. Horba Grauzgash. We've got everything the adventure This is such needs. a. This is such a. I would never have expected Only this quality voice. Quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? It's just like some girl. That's uh. That's silly. Crab meat's only giving me one, but I can make stuff out of it. Okay. Oh, can I sell this? I have this spell. You drive a hard bargain. I'll hold on to these things. Um, I guess I can sell this one, and this one, and this one, because I don't need any more. Um, I can ditch this. I can sell my nug. I can sell my wolf pelts. A good price for a good customer. Cool. Cowl of the Druid. Interesting. Very expensive, though. Um, and I can get some ingredients. You pleasure. I let. Is there a way that I can do this quicker? Oh man! I let that. This is this is how the game goes, everyone. This is how it works. This is what you do. I let that go too cheaply. <laughs> just, oh, you know, just a casual copy of one of the rarest books of all time. A pl Leave me alone. What? What the hell? What's your problem, dude? Cool, now we can practice potions. You know, I love that. Okay, so does this thing where, like... No, it looks like it doesn't work like I think it does. Oh, but unfortunately, I didn't actually get anything that mixes with my crab meat. What about my rat meat? Cool. What? What's your problem, Only dude? Quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you? Borba, in? is her name. Like Victor Borba, the guy who did bury the light. 
because that's cool. Oh, I can get rid of these. Fuck those. What's going on? All right. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, I can sell one of these if they don't have... Um, if they don't have anything, then I can just hawk them. I don't really know if I care about burdening a guy because I could just kill him. Same deal with damage yeah, fatigue. That's more than I would usually pay. That's a good deal. Um, I can get rid of any uh, stuff that resists flame. Because I resist flame. Thank you. Enough talk. It's the, the that voice is so weird to come out of an orc. <laughs> to be honest. Have, pity on an old wall that, or that. Have a coin, I beggar. Blessings of Julianus upon me. There's that interesting thing that you can do in Skyrim where you give a beggar a coin and that gives them um and that gives you a little buff cuz like hey you did something nice you should get something for it in order to justify the player doing it beyond just it's nice. But the actual thing that you get is you get a little buff that gives you more money. So giving away one dollar, you know, one coin. Oh, wait, this isn't where I want to go. Um, makes it easier for you to get more money next time. And so what some people will do is they'll like just they'll get. Um, They'll spend one gold, and then they'll go buy and sell a whole bunch of stuff. Wait, this isn't my horse? Oh, that's my horse. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. Die, damn you! Show me what you've got. Look, just an honest mistake. Do I have a bounty? How do I see that? Bounty, 250. Whatever. This is my horse, is it not? Prior... M why, why doesn't it say my name on it? God damn it. Ugh, pain in the ass. So did I get more of a bounty because I fought back there? Oh wait, actually, can I tri quick travel there? Enemies, huh? Is it just infuriated horse, horse women, horse peddlers? Oh, I'm gonna heads up right now. Um, actually, I guess I don't. <laughs> If you're watching this video, you can see the video's runtime, and you can see that it might be not be 30 minutes. Um, but normally I like to do 30 minutes for episodes of Oblivion. That's what I decided. Um, That's okay. Here's the Oh god damn it. I hate going to the castle. It's such a waste of my time. Whatever. Doesn't fucking matter. God. Like I like how they just frisk you on the spot in Skyrim. You know, the Emperor said that I was important. Oh wait, he doesn't know that I'm evil. Or Dawn is breaking. Greet the new day. Welcome, brother. The hour is late. 
but the master still has need for willing hands. You may pass into the shrine. Harrow will take you to the master for your initiation. Interesting. I didn't figure that it would go this way. Lord Dagon. Do not tarry. I gotta say, it's a little lame that they named that guy Dagon. Because Dagon is one of the cooler and more important Cthulhu mythos. Warden of the shrine uh, uh, of deities. By following and and like of dawn, by naming him Dagon, you only cheapen cheapen him because I'm just thinking about Dagon and how Dagon is cooler. You have arrived. Like, isn't Dagon time. in in Elder Scrolls Merun's Dagon? Isn't he just like some big Satan guy? By the master himself. And he has as like a, a generic fire and brimstone hell as his Everything as his realm. Because I've been there. It's it's pretty classically like Catholic. And put on. No, I don't think so. I must. But I am sure you. I ask you. Then. Damn right. I'm sure that there was a way to do that, but I'm not even joking about jo joining him. I gotta say, the um. The bound armor look is pretty is pretty lit. It's very very cool. I like it. Yeah, look, to be honest, I'm sure that there's a a, a whole thing where you learn a whole bunch of cool stuff and like you, you learn the lore, you know. But you know what? I wouldn't joke about joining Dagon. Even in the name of... Ah, I got him before his buff went up. Nice. I wouldn't join Dagon even to get close to, to these people. You, you know? Um... That's, um... What's that? What's that? Is that supposed What's to happen? <laughs> like, instead of, instead of armoring up and putting his armor on, he just took his shirt off and he had a bra. It didn't even look good, although none of the clothes look good in this game, so maybe it's not even his fault. But yeah, did... Did the armor thing that he was putting on like bug out cuz uh that's rather silly that's one of the silliest things i've seen so far like his his actual clothes disappeared that was very funny very very silly Apple. I uh, I usually like uh, taking and selling books in uh, uh, Elder Scrolls. Is oh, I hit level four. Cool, intelligence go up. Speed go up, endurance go up. You've done things the hard way, but without taking responsibility, without taking risks and taking responsibility for favor, how could you have understood? I love those things. Some of those might be recycled from Morrowind's level up messages, but you know what? They were good in Morrowind. I will say also the ability to fight with a torch and uh, your hands in Skyrim. Or the ability to like have a torch and, and fight with it was pretty good in Skyrim. The Skyrim like handedness thing where like you can put stuff in either hand. Um, the way that shields always go in your offhand is kind of annoying and lame, but the rest of it's pretty coolish. Can I leave? Can I get out of this? Thank you. God, I... 
I guess I could probably hit escape too, huh? Oh, shwait. Drop the torch. I'll come back to that door later. Joke's on you, motherfuckers. What? Up, oh, stole your book. Maker Cameron. So he's alive then. I guess it would be the right thing. Uh, and close the pure. But I have the book. What the fuck is going on? Hold on. I'm not going to change what I did, but... I want to see that again. If at all possible. I will drop down and swash my buckles again. Nito. So that's Mankar Kamoran then. Yeah, I saw that he had a little king symbol on him, so maybe he's like unkillable now, or like I imagine that they wouldn't let you, you know, do that. But I guess that's what he meant when he said his, the hour is late. If if this is happening right this second, okay, things open. So and then he winks out, Dagon, and now I gotta find the uh, the Zarzis. <gasps> Whoa, hello. Uh, let's start poisoning these guys. Oh, they're not actually that tough. Yeah. I'm just blazing through these guys. Oh, Runa Kamoran. Staff of Sickness. Okay, so she was unique at least. It's funny that they equip armor that I don't even know if they're, like, proficient in, you know? Julius. That's the way the pussy crumbles. All right. Cool. That's a that's a interesting. So that slave like go anywhere or athletics go up. Cool. You know, the fact that there's, like, technically intended to be a uh, max level in Morrowind is both interesting and yet kind of annoying. Because, like, there's no way that your max level is the, the strongest you'll ever get. Because, like, in Morrowind, you can fuck yourself up by just putting... Hi, sir. By putting gallons of, of potions on. Um, just checking my phone, waiting on something. Book of Daedra, Soul Gem. Uh, excuse me, I'm looting your stupid... Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Wow. They ain't me, though. 
looting all of these guys is actually taking more time than killing them. Sucks to be you guys, I guess. That's the thing about cults, you know? They have to they have to string you along with something. Um but when your cult is like we wear robes and we don't uh lace leather pants. Like we wear only robes and we don't um like wear armor. And then we have this spell that gives you armor, though, so it'll be fine. Damn it. Nice. Look at all that goodie. Look at all the goodies in there. Can you believe some jerk off locked like 10 gold in a. Uh, In a very hard chest or whatever it was. What an asshole. Yeah, like the fact that they like are they teaching everyone those those spells? Because like they're not teaching them well if that's the case. And what's more, like there's also the problem of just they don't have enough uh proficiency with the armor that they summon, you know? Your light armor is a second skin after all these days and weeks of wearing it. You've learned to move more easily in combat. As an apprentice of light armor, your gear is not damaged as fast. Yeah, I will say, I do kind of like the vibe of the bound gear in uh, Skyrim. Just because it's like, it's so obvious that it is magical and otherworldly. Like, this almost acts like um you are weak like they just manifested armor on you know only the chosen the cleansing and uh i don't know i'm also sad that there is no bound armor in skyrim although you can put some stuff on that's like it i think there's no bound armor in skyrim don't quote me on that um But yeah, like, when you have a bound weapon in Skyrim and it's, like, this glowing, ghostly, like, ethereal weapon that's only partially there and doesn't reel. You know, it doesn't exist properly. Like, that's cool. I like the aesthetic. I like the design. I like what it speaks for. You cannot escape. Did you say don't hurt me? You're in the cult, dude. Free torch. Yeah, I like the uh, the idea of bound armor. It's cool. And despite the fact that they're a weird, like, group of, of Satan Satan guys, still eating just like a normal loaf of bread. You, cannot escape the master's vigilance. you know what? I'm morally gray. I'll kill you guys. I don't care. For Lord Dagon. I... All right, something tells me I might need to turn up my uh, difficulty. Damn it. Sacred Witness. What is that? Uh, True History of the Night Mother. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to read that much of it. Glow Dust. Cool. Oh, and a Silver Spoon. My will is being drained.
but I gotta steal. I gotta take these things. They aren't nailed down, and I must have them. You do not understand. So these things are all half weight. So that means that if I make a potion with a bread, it'll get lighter. What else is heavy? This is the weight, right? Danger hearts are heavy. And venison. Okay, so let's make something with venison then. Oh, we can make it with danger hearts. And then what? Does that just turn into a potion that is also two pounds? What is this? What does this symbol mean? Well, it's better than it was. Ring of Nihilism just being a generic item is so interesting. Um, I think I'm about done with... Ooh, that's nice. I think I'm about done with this dungeon, so I might, like, finish it off, off screen. Just, like, leaving it, I mean. I know everyone wants to see me not lockpick these things. God. I'm trying to do it faster, and yet it's not working out. Okay, I don't care that much about what's in there. Hey, it's one of those little Dorta befores. Those are always all over the place in Skyrim, and my dad, uh, his favorite Elder Scrolls is Skyrim. I've mentioned this, but I'm a, a Mora Boomer. My dad's a Sky Baby. All right. Um, yeah, I've mentioned this before, but... My, my dad uh, loves Skyrim, and he's always like, I should have gone in through that door every time he goes through one of those. It's kind of funny. Anyway, um, yeah, cool. I guess we'll do this all next time. Uh, good sesh, I say to myself. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been uh, The Elder Scrolls Oblivione. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank Talos, you've... Do you have the answer? No. Please he tell me. I have the Zarxes. Oh, He'll be in the Great Hall reading. Oh, did you put like armor on, dude? Because that's cool. I need to stop playing. It's <laughs> I'm I'm getting too I'm getting too invested. I need to stop playing. Okay. Hard save. I've been Alfred. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Uh and bye.